Hello and welcome to your L6M3 Learning Objective 1 question. So I'm Laura from Business Academy Online and I'm going to be taking you through your question today, which is evaluate five ways in which supply chain management has created competitive advantage for Amazon by reducing time to market and developing clear service differentiation. So there's a lot going on in this question and obviously you may not get it linked to Amazon's, but I've just put this in here to help us. You may give be given a case study to work from which may be a different organization or perhaps you may even get an organization of your choice so you can choose there. We always start off with defining though and there's a lot to kind of deal with in this question but I think competitive advantage is what I personally would define. So competitive advantage is a condition or circumstance that puts a company in a favorable or superior business position. So anything along those lines will get you some marks. I just want to be clear on this question, though, that there's quite a lot to answer. And that is to evaluate five ways in which supply chain management has created competitive advantage. But it's not asking for just generic ways, ways that they've done this by reducing time to market and developing service differentiation. So everything that we're saying, we have to link back to time to market or service differentiation. Okay, so we're gonna do this on Amazon. You should know that Amazon are just one of the largest companies in the world now. They are taking over every arena uh, from warehousing to online shopping, to web services, to blah, 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 everything. So we're gonna drill in and I'm gonna use some examples from my research into Amazon. As I've mentioned, you need to address the full question. So it's asking for five areas of competitive advantage about reducing time to market and service differentiation. And to score highly, you need to address both parts of this. Okay, so Amazon Prime then. Amazon's 2005 launch of Amazon Prime at around 79 to 80 pounds a year, an annual membership that offers three two-day shipping on hundreds of thousands of items was described as a game changer. It further established Amazon's online retail dominance. And Amazon basically just went crazy from this. That everybody, especially during lockdown and COVID and so on, it was just so easy to get an Amazon order rather than leave the house. Um, Amazon took it even a step further than this and began offering two hour deliveries with Amazon Prime now in certain areas. And essentially they could do within an hour if you were in certain areas in London, for example, you could order cheese and get that delivered. Now, this is obviously about reducing time to market, and it is also about service differentiation. Not everybody could do this, and so it differentiated them as a, a company. However, a potential challenge to this is making sure that consumers are happy and willing to keep paying for the service, even if the price goes up and up. And so far, they seem to be. I know personally I pay for it. don't know about you. Another one that I thought was really interesting that's kind of been grounded now, but is something that is still open to Amazon to investigate is drone use. Amazon announced that the company is developing a drone based known as Prime Air delivery system. Customers with eligible orders who live within 10 miles of an Amazon fulfillment center, this was in America, will be able to receive their packages via drones within a 30 minute delivery window or less. So they've been trialing this on private ground and recently there has been some articles that have come out that they're struggling to get this off the ground no pun intended in america because there's issues with the faa the federal air authority and they've stepped in and banned amazon from flying drones in certain public spaces which limits route access however if this does work and get off the ground then this would help reduce delivery time and be a service differentiator as well Third party logistics, I've really focused on the delivery side of this because I think it's important. Same day shipping and one hour shipping are not something that traditional third party logistics providers such as UPS, FedEx and any others are well equipped to handle. Amazon has become to be more heavily reliant on its own fleet of delivery vehicles to fulfill same day deliveries. Plus they've invested in America in Amazon Air and actually have some of their own aeroplanes. Amazon is making significant strides in improving and shortening delivery times by subverting traditional uh, third party logistics models and investing in new technology like warehouse automation and robots 
It's also investing in electric vehicles and so on to reduce the environmental impact. All of this, both reducing time to market and service differentiation. Manufacturing. Amazon's also a manufacturing organization. They've adopted a strategy that not only could it sell products for less than its competitors, but it could also make them much cheaper than its competitors as well. There are various examples, such as Kendall e-readers, Firebranded Goods, Echoes, and so on and so on. By streamlining the manufacturing, distribution, and retail of select products, Amazon has a significant competitive advantage due to the economies of scale. So this is kind of reducing time to market here. Also, Amazon are wanting to get into their own branded goods more and more, so you'll see them advertise at the top of any search, from microwaves to kettles to any sort of domestic white goods. It seems to be a focus for them if you look on the site right now. The Internet of Things. So the Internet of Things are devices which are essentially linked up and speak to the Internet. So dash buttons, known as an Internet of Things device, allows users to simply press a button to order a household staple such as detergent or coffee. These seem to be less popular than they were, but they were a desire to represent, they were an example of Amazon's desire to, to make things as easy as possible. When in reality, and I've got to be very careful saying this in case she goes off, the Alexa is probably the most successful of their Internet of Things devices. Um, a challenge to this could be that it's seen as a fad or security implications, that it's always recording, all of that, that put, may put customers off. I do think that this is a form of service differentiation, as well as um, with the dash buttons, a real time to market uh, quicker aspect. Now, there are just a few things that you could mention. There's so many more. Amazon Fulfillment Centers, the web services, the Amazon new shops where they are all running on RFID and no real staff, their inventory management techniques, all sources of competitive advantage. So what I would do if I were you would be to essentially create at least a list of five key competitive advantage uh, sources for most organizations and you can apply them to whatever comes up in the case. I hope you found that useful. Thank you so much for listening and catch me back soon. Bye for now.